Welcome to the Go Garage, fellas. Welcome, welcome, my man. Welcome. Have a seat, fellas. This is like Jerry Springer show. You are, you are not the father. This is no one's, no surprises like that. But it's very, 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 very cool, man. Let me lower this because I'm small. Yeah, a lot yeah. smaller than. Yeah. How you guys doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. good. Fantastic. Welcome to Minnesota, and you guys performing tonight, and yes. yeah, we are. And that album, bro, is y'all's project is crazy. I Thank appreciate you, that. Like Thank eclectic you. sounds and, and variety of sounds, but. Man, really kind of focused still. It's not a scattered thing. It's really, really hard. When I listened to it, I was like, oh, the, and then the, the very smooth side as well. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I know I got some cool questions from them. Oh, I'm going to talk okay, to them. Cool. And then we'll figure out, you know, who they really is. Ooh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I like that beanie you got right there. Yeah, he knows yeah, what he's doing. The merch god. He got you. So I All right, so... Obviously, this is a group effort, a team effort. You know what I mean? Of course. Of course. Who, who would you guys say some of your biggest, who, who, the softballs are coming first. Who, who, who's some of your biggest influences to make this eclectic sound that you guys have crafted, man? Uh, growing up, I, always, I was always a big Jeremiah fan. Yeah, Jeremiah man. and Chris. Yeah, you man. know what I mean? R&B on that side. Like, I was always trying to emulate kind of what they were doing. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, along with everybody else in the R&B field. But Dante. Yeah, as, as a producer, I was always, like, I listen to everything, but specifically as a producer, I was always into like Timbaland, um, Dr. Dre. I was a big Dr. Luke and Max Martin fan too. I, I really studied like how Dr. Luke put songs together and, and made them sound so full. So I'd yeah. say he's one of my biggest influences as well. Yeah, I hear that. I, I feel like you guys listen to uh, a wide range of stuff like alternative music, R&B, hip hop, because yeah. you've got a record like you write that's so hard and then you listen to the Dante's Creek is like a rock thing and a whole smooth vibe to it. Mm -hmm. o outside of hip hop or R&B, who would you think that you guys are really inspired by? Uh, it's funny because my dad used to listen to a lot of funk, like Parliament Funkadelic, yeah. but then I, you know, I also like a lot of that soft pop rock. Like I like the, the Fray and like Blink-182. That's what I'm saying, that's what I hear. I hear, I hear like Nirvana and some and of the yeah, stuff. Nirvana, I was like, obviously. the yeah. riff is crazy on one of them joints, so I was like, all right, I, I hear that. Um, who are you guys listening to right now, outside of yourselves and the music that you're creating? Um, I'm, I'm really listening to a lot of, uh, I always go back. You know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've been really going back to like a lot of like 80s R&B. That's always like my fallback. Yeah. Cause I, I always hear bass lines first. Yeah, so man. that was, I feel like that, like Gap Band cameo, like, and then obviously Prince and everybody like that. Like just that era just had like so many dope bass lines. That's like immediately the first thing that I hear. So when I'm looking for inspiration, that's what I'm looking back to. Yeah. But um, I really like Khalid's project. I really like, um, who else's project? Do I, have I like Black's to? project. Black, yeah, Black, Black obviously, yeah. He's, yeah, man. And, uh, Bryson, and, then, yeah. and then we just listen to a lot of weird stuff too, like Animal Collective just put out like a, a random EP. Glass that, Animals. Yeah, yeah. And listen to that. So that's cool to hear that you when you make a beat that you think baseline first. Like yeah. so when you're constructing the sound, it starts with the baseline. Yeah, every time. That's cool. That's very cool, man. Um, here's another one. This is very interesting. I don't know who wrote this one down. Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Yeah. You know how I feel Never. about this. It's strong. I feel very strong. Jordan, I don't know if this was you. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. Never. Thank you. Never, never in my life. You know what, man? Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I, used to, I used to be like strong, like nah, like nah. But then the other day, I had this, I had this one pizza and it had the pineapple. And I didn't know that See, it had the, the pineapple. The justification. On it. And I, I said it was now. delicious. I don't know how and you then could somebody know told me it had like, pineapple. It's right on, on there. It's <laughs> right, bright yellow pineapple on the pizza. Yeah, I say no to that. Sometimes I'm just, are you so hungry, you don't pay no attention. I just bit it. I was like, ooh, this is delicious. And then, yeah, and then the they told me it had attack. pineapple. I know how you can sneak it. You didn't order it, but you know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, okay, that happened. Okay. You guys had a joint on Empire. You guys were on the Empire show on Fox. You had a, re a record on? Right, oh, right, yeah. yeah. Back it up. Back it up, bro. That's crazy. That's cool. That's yeah, really nice. tight. Yeah, being dope. on TV shows that you might watch, like, okay, like, see your song on, on the television. That's kind of cool. Yeah, because my mom watches that all the time, and she spazzed out. I just got a huge text from her, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, what, yeah, that's yeah. what it's good for, though, yeah, with, like, yeah. family and friends. And yeah, 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 very, very cool, That's man. crazy. Um, everybody's super crazy digital texting. What would you think your most used emoji would be? Ooh, most used. Emoji. It's the little this joint, cause that means so much. <laughs> That's unique though. You it's can, like you a, can just, a, you a okay. Can do so much with this joint. Yeah, it's probably that one. Yeah, yeah. mine's the the new one with when he's like looking off to the side. Oh, the like confused, curious, like, like yeah, yeah like, like the curious like, one. Like, like okay, word. yeah, that's that's my go-to these days. That's cool. Those are good ones. Those are very very good. Um, if you could trade places with anybody. 
dead or alive, anyone who would it be? Ooh. Mm, that's a good You guys one. got a pretty that's good really thing going on, too. I don't know. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't I trade, trade up off this. Anybody dead or alive? Uh... Dang. That's, that's really a, that's good. Raw. That's, 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 a, that's, that's raw. That's crazy. I'd say... I'd say Obama. Oh my God, he yeah, stole I, my I, joint. Dope. That's dope. That's I always dope. looked up to him, yeah. and he's chilling right now. He's he really like, is. He, he did his job. He's like, y'all, y'all got this for me. He had the hat on backwards when I saw him. I was yeah, like, it's lit. It's lit swagging. for Obama. Yeah, he's doing That's his good. thing. Yeah. Okay, man. Um, how did you? We we see the merch looks amazing. How did you come up with the name with the period? Like, how did that? So I always name my beats just like random things. So actually, when we were making back it up, the name of the track was like they point one. So he saw it, he was like, "Oh, that's dope." And um, so we just kept the period. And yeah. Okay, like, that's cool. Like, like really something there. really simple. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool, man. Um, Statement. Before you guys kind of popped, or before it like kind of turned over, and you're out on tour and moving around, what what were you guys doing to get people hip to your music? Like how were you how were you making it happen early? Um, earlier on, I mean, we we we, we kind of teamed up with Minor Genius pretty early, and they're really good at what they do. But as far as like outside of that, I think it was we just had a certain confidence in the music, and I used to kind of put out my own stuff, so I had a little bit of a PR kind of background. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I used that a little bit, but other than that, Mind of a Genius is really really good at what they do as far as being able to put our stuff out there. You grew up in the D.C. area. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Denver. Oh, word. Okay. Because, yeah. see, I know where he's from. The music hustle is a serious thing. Yeah. Everybody's out, movie out, good role models. But Den that Denver is cool. How do you guys meet each other? We met in L.A. Um, Very dope. Yeah, yeah in, in Hollywood. Um, one of my best friends that I grew up with in Denver brought him by the studio um, that I was working out of in Hollywood. And we just had, like, an instant connection. Yeah, no, yeah. I can see it. The, very, the vibe is definitely cool. Let's see what else we got? We got, uh, uh, we talk song. Um... Most memorable performance to date. This is from uh, Mustafa um, over here. Ask this one. It's it's a tie. So I think the very first performance we ever stepped on stage when we did the Bryson uh, tour. Dope. We had never performed before, ever been on a stage at all. Okay. And then all of a sudden we on that tour, and then we go out to Portland, and the whole crowd was just cheering crazy. We were yeah. like, okay. This we looked at each other. We had a moment. We were just yeah. like, oh. You know, it's gonna be, yeah. you know, it's we could time. do this. You know what I mean? And then well, yeah, for be, for me it was we we did a run with Party Next Door at the dope. end of last year, dope. and um, we actually did a show in Denver where we did You Right for the like per, it wasn't even out yet. Like yeah. we just performed it for the first time, and they had like a big L LED screen, and they put up the Colorado State flag. I literally brought like thirty people, like all my family and friends from back home, like on stage, and like. Yeah, and like, too, the crowd had never heard the song either, but they like reacted too. And, and then when I dropped the Aurora line, everybody flipped out. Crazy. So like, yeah. That's the moment dope. though, at home too, and yeah. all the homies. And that's such exactly. a rowdy like record. Yeah, yeah. I can see you guys going crazy. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Okay, this is kind of an intricate question. Right. Nick from Minneapolis wants to know, why didn't Rather Die make it on the album? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, this is obvious. It's like a little obvious sample um, from Nirvana. That was go. on that, and it couldn't necessarily get clear. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I was naive when I... <laughs> it sounded great in the studio. It is sounded that what it great. Is? I, was, I was a bit the naive on how it easy though, it was you know. going to be to get, get it on there. Get it cleared. Yeah, tried and then, so and then we tried we tried to make a bunch of like workarounds and stuff like that, it but didn't it, sound the same. it just kept taking the vibe away from the song, so I, I just decided to just let it be what it was. And just, just give it away. You have yeah, to have it away, enjoy yeah. it. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Well, we're excited to have you guys here tonight. Make some noise, please, ladies and gentlemen.